one of the most memorable moments was uh, when I first saw Earth because, uh, you know, I had seen many pictures, many videos of Earth from space and being able to see that with my own eyes had a completely different effect and sort of almost sensing life emanating from our planet in the dark background of the space. It was a really memorable experience. I wasn't frightened. I've been living this in my head for many, many years. So um, I've sort of had played all these scenarios of flying to space, seeing Earth, and I think I was very prepared for it. So it was almost uh, completely a joyful, uh, very happy, very exciting experience. And I didn't have time or uh, you know, any desire to think about what things could go wrong. Well, um, the first design, uh, uh, which is the design that won the Ansari X Prize, uh, that was designed by Mojave Air and Space, has been commercialized by Virgin Galactic. Uh, right now, I think the plans are for the first commercial flights to take place in 2012, so it's not that far away. And I think from there, we will see a lot more competition. And I know many other companies are building, uh, you know, designing a new spacecraft for orbital and suborbital flights. So as soon as we see competition, then we'll see the prices come down and really uh, an industry being created. I think uh, space travel is a dream for many men and women. Um, I think it, you know, my trip will be perceived differently by different genders because uh, for women, uh, a lot of time, not only you know, space travel, it's not accessible to everyone, but it's even less accessible to women. There are a lot more barriers for them, especially if they live in countries where um, things like space travel, engineering, uh, any science and technology related field would be considered a more male dominated, male appropriate field. So I want to show them that there is nothing preventing women or making them less qualified to be involved in any of these fields. But uh, equally, I think men also get very interested because, as I said, uh, space is not accessible today to many people. And one of uh, my goals as my involvement through Ansari X Prize was to create the opportunity for everyone equally, men and women. I would say that uh, women's rights is definitely a key issue because you also see uh, women actually in a way being very, very active in this movement. Um, it has been an issue, um, you know, over the past, uh, you know, years and uh, the situation sort of fluctuates. Sometimes it's, um, it gets a little bit easier and it gets harder again. And uh, overall, I think uh, women in Iran are very resilient and I'm very proud of all the Iranian women that are standing up for their rights and speaking out and uh, I hope that they will succeed and I'm glad that the international community is paying attention and supporting them as well. At Prodia, uh, what we wanted to do is uh, build a platform to be able to deliver internet-based application to the users um, in sort of a mass market environment, regardless of their skill sets or where they live. And we wanted to do that so they can consume the information or the experience or the application through any media that, uh, medium that they are used to using, whether it's uh, mobile or the TV or their PC or any other devices that could be created uh, in a ubiquitous manner. And uh, making information and services uh, ubiquitously and simply available to everyone will actually uh, close the digital gap that exists today between generations sometimes and create new opportunities actually for current application service providers to address a very much larger marketplace and be able to design applications that are more suited for this larger audience. Mm -hmm.